Hi, we're here at Sincere Milk Farm, and today I'm doing an educational video on vaccinating baby goats. Um, we have here Sincere Milk MSD Dandelion Dust, and she's our little doling. Um, she's three weeks old. Um, some people opt to vaccinate their babies as soon as they're born. I wait a few weeks um, just because they're so little, and I just like them to grow a little bit before they get their first vaccine. Um, and the other thing, I vaccinate the mothers one month uh, before birth so that uh, the vaccine is actually in their milk and the babies get immunity through their mothers through their milk. Um, so really, it, it doesn't, in my opinion, it doesn't have to be done immediately. Um, so she's going to get her first one. I'm using, it's called the Bar Vaccine. I'm going to let her zoom in there. You got that? Um, there's other brands. This is the one I use. This is the most common one that you'll find in your local farm stores. The problem with it is it does give sometimes a, an injection site lump. Um, I always vaccinate my goats in this area. That way, if they develop a lump after the vaccine, I know um, that the lump's from the vaccine. There are some diseases that goats can get that cause lumps um, on their skin, and they can be quite frightening. So in order to save myself stress, um, if they do wind up developing a lump in this area, I know it's from the vaccine. So um, the other thing we're going to be doing, it's, it's a the type of uh, injection we're going to be doing is called a sub-Q. And that just means subcutaneous or under the skin. Um, there's different types of injections. There's the sub-Q and then there's the intermuscular. That's a whole different thing. Um, some uh, shots that you give can be done either, either one. Um, others, they recommend either sub-Q or, uh, in the case of antibiotics, a lot of times it's intermuscular. So that's a little bit more involved. But this is a very simple type of vaccine. In fact, if you have puppies, kittens, um, you can actually go to Tractor Supply or your local farm supply store and buy the vaccine and do this yourself on them. Now, this you wouldn't use the you wouldn't use this vaccine. You would use obviously one for puppies, and then I usually use the five way on our puppies. And the kittens, of course, have their own type of vaccine. So once you learn how to do it, though, um, it, it, it can really save you a lot of money. We still obviously take our animals to the vet um, and have them, you know tested for worms and just get their general health checkup. But as far as the vaccines, um, it, it definitely saves you a lot of money when you learn how to do it yourself. Um, so anyway, we, we're going to get ready to do this. Um, what I do is I take a, you want to find a good hunk of flesh here. And on a baby goat, they're kind of fat in the belly area, but over here there's just not a whole lot. So I just want to show you this before I actually give the vaccine. Um, so I, you want to make it like a tent. So you just think of it as pinching. Like if I were to take my hand and just pinch my skin up like this, you want to make like a tent in the flesh, and the, the needle's actually going to go in that tent. But um, I try to use a small need, a, a pretty small needle. You know, this is obviously a small animal. You don't need the biggest gauge. I'm not even sure, to be honest with you, what gauge this one is. I, I bought this. is actually one that I use on my puppies as well. The the actual uh, syringe and the needle. Um, so, and then it has a little area in the top. That's where you actually um, will stick the needle in. So I shake it first just to make sure everything's mixed properly. And then I, this is inside a case. So I just simply unscrew this, push the needle and syringe out, and then the needle is capped for safety reasons. Um, so, what I do is then I just take this off. You can see it's a pretty thin needle. Um, and then I turn the bottle upside down. I stick, are you getting this okay, Carissa? I stick the needle in here. And oh, and I, I'm sorry. And then on the bottle, it'll tell you it says two milliliters subcutaneously. And so um, you go on here and you find the two, and then you want to just withdraw or, sorry, pull the plunger out, withdraw up to the line, and then I, when I get to that point, it, you're going to feel like a suction. Uh, it's going to want to pull, like, draw the actual um, vaccine back into the bottle. So what I do is I hold it, and then now you've got it here. And the other thing I do, just to make sure I'm not popping any air 
into the um, babies under the skin there. I'll just let it kind of tap it a little bit, make sure all the air bubbles are up. See how you could, I don't know if you could see it on the camera, but some air bubbles floated to the top. Just flick it a little, and then I just take it and I squirt a little bit out. And that way, all you have in there is the fluid. There's no, there's no air. So, Felicity, you need to hold her really tight. Have someone help you. If you've never done this before, you absolutely need to have someone help you. I have done it myself. It's not fun. Um, you need somebody to really grip the baby tight because you don't want it to move while you're getting that needle in there. So put your arm around her neck here. But don't cover the area. And just be careful when you're vaccinated. You don't want to accidentally stick um, whoever's helping you. So then I'm going to grab this little tent of flesh here. And then I just simply, she's going to yell, but just like a little kid would yell. With her, and then get the needles in. She's fine. And then you just depress the plunger slowly. And then what I do, I pull it out. Immediately I cap it. I don't want any accidents to happen. So the cap goes right back on. Nobody's going to get stuck. And then um, I rub the area. That helps too. I found that if I rub it, it helps with the lumps a little bit. I haven't... Um, I mean, I don't know that there's a scientific uh, reasoning behind that, but I just found that that works. And she's good. She's hollering a little. She, nobody likes to be stuck with a needle, obviously, but but she's fine. So we're going to take her back out, and we're going to let her loose. Um, I'm not sure if I said this already, but um, you want to vaccinate them. Baby goats get vaccinated once right after birth, or, you know, for me it was three weeks. And then you do it once again 30 days later. Um, and then they're good for a whole year, so you don't, you only have to do them after the first two vaccines. Um, you only have to do it once a year thereafter, and it's the same dose on the bottle um, as it is for the adults too. So there really isn't a difference in how much you give versus the the newborns or the or the adults. So it's it's still two milliliters. So that's pretty much it, and thank you for watching.